Hey guys, Simcoder here, and today I'm presenting you with the YouTube redesign. So, for those that are not aware, in this uh, channel, I usually do the series where I focus on the backend and functionality, and then I release a redesign which is on, available on my store at uh, www.simcoder.com uh, where you can purchase the project. So, what is the redesign? The redesign is just a revamp of the project. Uh, it has all the same features plus some and it has a design that is similar to the real product. So in the case of YouTube, it will be similar to YouTube, which you can check out for yourself. And in the case of Uber, it's uh, similar to Uber or Snapchat, similar to Snapchat. You get the point. So the main goal of the redesign is just to add on to the features that we have because up until this point in the YouTube series, we've touched upon everything that you have to know in order to develop YouTube. So this is just add-on, it's just work that I had to put in, which you could do. Uh, you don't need to learn to know a lot more than uh, what you have in order to reach this point. So it is just a nice to have. So what else is in the redesign? Uh, this time, because we are doing a website, I uh, implemented GitLab CI so that you can do continuous integration uh, with your project. All you have to do is to clone the project, upload it to a repository of, of your own, and let the pipelines run and everything will be up and running. Uh, I'm using Eroco in GitLab CI so that, so that the pipelines run and deploy on uh, Eroco server. Uh, it is free, it costs zero uh, euros to, to run, so you don't have to worry about anything. Then I've implemented uh, unit tests for the backend. I implemented lint so that, that we can make sure that everything is uh, a bit more secure, uh, both in the back end and in the front end, and cleaner, obviously, and API dog so that you can easily check out what each endpoint does or does not. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to jump into the PC and show you guys the features that we've implemented and everything that I've done these past few weeks. Okay, so here we are, and I'm going to jump right into uh, Google Chrome. And I'm going to paste in this link, uh, youtube uh, iphone simcoder.erocoapp.com. This is the link for uh, my project. If you deploy uh, the project, it will have your own domain and you can set up uh, a custom domain like youtube simcoder.com, whatever. Uh, but for now, I'm using the default one. Uh, so let's jump right into it. This is the loading screen. You are free to change whatever you, you'd like about the project obviously and keep in mind because i'm running eroco i'm using the lowest degree um, server uh, then it will take some time because the server is not that great however it will run the queries and everything uh, that's needed uh, here we are in the main page and as you can see there are uh, some similarities between uh, this project and youtube uh, now it is loading the list of the latest videos and again it will take some time so, the first part uh, that uh, is important to point out, and the first feature, is that now thumbnails uh, have uh, GIFs. Uh, just like YouTube has previews of the video, uh, this project also has them. The GIFs are uh, produced, generated, at the moment of the video being uploaded, so it is all made without any user interference at all. It takes uh, three parts of the video and combines them in order to create uh, the GIF that uh, you see here. And every single video has it. You just have to hover the video and it will pop up. Okay, so now jumping into the video, uh, it has a loading animation uh, showing where different elements of the, um, of the page will be. And after uh, it, it has done loading, it will show you first the video, then uh, the, the suggested videos will take a bit longer because the query is a bit heavier. And remember, this is all a bit delayed because we are using Eroco. So now you are able to freely play the video. Obviously, you get the suggestions, which are ranked to from the highest degree of uh, relatability to the lowest degree of re relatability. Uh, coming down here, you are able to like the video and it, again, it will take some time to update because of the query. If you were running in a decent VM, then it would be instant. Okay, I'm going to remove the like. 
you are able to comment on the videos and let's just say hello YouTube uh, it will get uh, automatically uh, refreshed and we'll get the comment instantly we get the views that the video has uh, at the current moment uh, which because I've opened the, the video it will increment on this value and that's basically it when it comes to uh, video display now coming into the search bar uh, we are able to do a full text search for a video so let's say playback now keep in mind that uh, only uh, one of the videos have playback in the title however I'm, uh, this search is made not only on the title but with the description also so this makes it a bit heavier however the, the results are way better so I resolved leaving it there however I will let you know uh, in the if you purchase the project uh, I will have a section on how to improve upon this and uh, if you want faster queries how you can remove the description part so that it becomes a lot faster uh, I'm going to jump right back into the video and because I'm logged in with the account that uploaded the video and as you can see you can show more or less and because I'm logged in with the account that uploaded the video, I'm able to edit the video. I can change the name, the description and the thumbnail, just like YouTube lets uh, the creators do. You are also able to delete the video, obviously. Okay, now I'm going to go into the profile, which is a bit different uh, from what we have in the series. Uh, right now, I don't have any image attached to uh, the logo nor the banner, but you are able to edit them uh, going into edit and in here you can change uh, the name to whatever you like so sim coder it will get updated give it some time and it returns you back to the home page but if i go to the um, profile page then the name will be updated and an s will appear in the image okay so that's all great now going to the upload i'm going to quickly upload a video for you guys i'm going to upload the latest video that i have on youtube on this channel so upload the description going to thumbnail the thumbnail is this one for the video it's this one and click upload uh, one thing to keep in mind in uh, if you go into the website and check out the project for yourself i will have the login logged so that no posts uh, requests can be made this is just because i don't want to spend a bunch of, of resources on google cloud storage and i don't want to have to monitor the project but i'm doing this video so that you can see how it works and uh, so that you can get a first-hand experience with it but you are free to obviously go and check out all of the videos that i've uploaded myself and check out how everything works uh, and if i log out this will be the, the page that you get. Obviously, a lot less buttons appear, but you are still free to go into every single page that's needed. If I go into login, this is the login page, and I can just log in. That's two. And when I sign in, um, a loading screen will appear, and you are right back here. That's all of the features that we have. However, I have to point out point out one other thing which is the responsiveness of the site uh, it is completely responsive as you can see and if I jump into a video you'll be able to see how everything looks uh, it looks pretty much similar to what uh, the YouTube app looks everything is moved on to the sidebar you are able to open it up close it up and here we are because I'm logged in with a different account from the, the, the one that made the upload of this video I'm able to also subscribe and unsubscribe and if I subscribe, obviously, then going into my subscription page, um, all of the, the videos of the user that I'm subscribed to at the moment will appear, which is the same as the home page, but you get the, the idea and it works just as the video that we've done on this for the YouTube series on YouTube. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I've presented you the YouTube redesign. Feel free to check out the site at youtube-simcoder.eroquap.com
Facebook.com and feel free to play around with it. Again, the login is restricted, so you won't able to won't be able to upload uh, any videos or comments or uh, any post action. But you'll be free to check out the videos and how everything looks. So yeah, make sure uh, to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the redesign. If you are interested in purchasing the redesign, it will be available at simcoder.com uh, by the time this video gets out. So yeah, just ask whatever you'd like. I'll be sure to answer any questions that you might, ha might have about the project. So don't worry about it. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao.